Right, I'm here in Tunisia at a place called LS, a megalithic necropolis not far from El Caire. And there are structures like this one, about 64 of them, all in this area, this valley, leading all the way over there. I'm going to give you a little look around if I can. I'm, apologies, I've only got a 100 pound camera and I'm on my own with a little tripod. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff I'm finding. It looks pretty old, this site, in fact, seriously old. And it looks like there's some um, serious signs of rock manipulation, like grooves and stuff all in the rock as well. So. Um, maybe these uh, megalithic chaps were a little bit more advanced than we actually give them credit for. Now, let me show you around. This one is pretty amazing actually. I'm going to show you now. Grab the camera. It's, uh, like I say, it's kind of Dolman-esque. You've got these, uh, these massive, massive megalithic blocks they like well it looks like the same rock as in uh, as in England it like the uh, similar thickness to Lanyon Coit but this one these ones are a lot more sort of complete you've got tombs basically all the way under here you've got megaliths up on the hill over here they lead up to over there I think that's the last one over in the distance there. Again, apologies, the camera's crap, I know, it's only 100 quid it was, but better than nothing. I'll pan around, show you the beautiful scenery out in the middle of Tunisia, show you some of the megaliths. There's more structures like this one here. One, two, over there, three, and there's more along the road. There's the car hide. So this one's pretty cool. So there's a room here, and then it goes along here. And there's one in here. And up there, there's a little room, and then there's another one here. Under these massive megalithic blocks. Like I say, a combination of a so a dolmen and a tomb and God knows what they used to do here. This is the roof, these massive, massive slabs. There's my shadow again. And then there's these more sort of signs of rock manipulation channels over here. As you can see, it looks like either either a hell of a lot of erosion over a long period of time. Well, they did this on purpose. Your guess is as good as mine. And then right next door, another one. Huge blocks, massive megalithic stones like Lanyon Coit, this massive, big, thick slabs on top, and then stuff underneath. Now this could, uh, this could be for Rich's Hobbits, possibly. Very small. And then there's another one just over here. There's another one over there, but you can't see it. And then there's those over this there. This one's like a dolmen. And it's like, uh, well, God knows how many standing stones there are. You can see this big flat one on top. And there's lots of little standing stones. And then inside, you can see big megalithic boxes. It's probably about 15, I'd say. I'm not going to bother counting because there's that many of these things. I mean. And also, <laughs> There's stones all over the place. I mean, this is heavily eroded, this site. There's stones all over, and God knows what's underneath the ground. I'll show you a little walk round so you can see what I'm on about. This one here. Let's step back. You can see these big, big slabs. Sides to them, like little houses little hobbit houses. Annoyingly the sun's in the, in the worst possible place so you can't really see it that way but you can see some kind of dolmen, tomb, I'm not sure exactly what and you can see how big these slabs are. Huge things. I'll put my hand in so you can see. That's my hand, my huge hand. Again, 
another big hole in there. That one looks like it's done on purpose, but there's other ones that could show signs of erosion. So here's a good place to show you how big this site is. You can see my car over there off into the distance and the first dolmen I visited is about 100 metres past that one. And then along the road there's probably five or six different, I'm not sure if they're dolmen but they're, they're structures of some kind, big slabs. Now I'm stood on number 21 of, I think there's 64, there's me, my shadow, and this is the huge one that looks like a tomb. Massive rock, you can see big cut marks in this stone here, you can see how big the Here's the cut are. marks up close. I'm not sure if they were done on purpose or if this is uh, erosion and, and, and signs of uh, how old these sites are. There's more here. I think this is erosion. Oh, I better get out of the way for the shadow. I think this is erosion. It looks like water's just been sat there and slowly over the years dissolved the rock. So this is structure number 25 quite interesting because it has this kind of circular indent feature you can imagine some beam or wooden beam or something or some kind of circular thing put in there to help uh, keep this together whatever the hell it was I don't think this one's a dolmen there's also an indent here it goes into the rock I better get my shadow out of the way uh, and there's also cut marks inside but I think what's inside is erosion which shows how old this thing is over here there's me my shadow anyway over here there's another one of these circular indents in the rock and then this one over here I'm gonna run Whoa! this one over here is the one I was saying looks like kind of foundations of a house but god knows some bit building or something hard to say look at this countryside absolutely beautiful out in the middle of Tunisia six to four of these things Let's come together